Today, we're going to be taking a look at CSS Peeper. It's a free Chrome extension that allows us to do a couple of really simple things. First of all, if we like the look of a font and the styling and the CSS on pretty much any element on a web page, we can take a look at that and we can use that for our own benefit. If you like a color scheme that's being used and you want to grab those color values, well, you can do that with CSS Peeper too. Finally, if you see any assets on the page, graphics, logos, and so on that you want to get access to, you can export those directly from the page as well. But as always, bear in mind you have to adhere to copyright, so don't go taking graphics that you don't have access to. Anyway, let's just open up Chrome and take a look at what this does. So if you're a web designer and you're looking for inspiration, little tools can make a big, big difference to your workload. CSS Peeper is one of those little plugins. Now, I've touched upon this in a different video, but CSS Peeper is a free Chrome extension, so you have to be using a Chrome-based browser. You install it, and what it does is three key things. It allows you to inspect the CSS element you select, allows you to view all of the colors being used on a particular page and all of the media assets that are being used. And you can, if you want to, open those up and save them and use them for other things. So let's take a look at it. Once you've gone ahead and installed this as part of your browser, you will have a little icon at the top. that's like a little colorful purple P. So once you've opened up the page you want to inspect, it's very easy to use. We're going to use this Love Food, which is a tutorial I did a little while back on how to build a customized blog using WordPress, Elementor, Pro, and ACF. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check that out. So we want to take a look at some of the elements that are being used on here. Let's just switch on CSS Peeper, and we have three different tabs. We've got the general, which allows us to inspect the CSS code and take a look at different things. The next one, which is the colors that are being used on this particular page, including any transparency based colors and finally any of the assets that are being used. So let's start off with the general tab, which allows us to select items and then inspect the content. So, for example, let's just say we wanted to take a look at this particular heading. We can click on it and you can see it now pulls up, shows us the CSS or the tags that are being used to target this. So we've got the CSS. You can see exactly where it is. So if we just wanted to use it from this point of view, target this and then customize the CSS, we could do just that. We can also scroll down and we can see what font family is being used, the font size, the line height, the text align and the letter spacing. We've also got the colors that are being used in both the fill and the background. So the fill is basically the colors being used for the text. The background is the background area inside that particular CSS tag. OK, so let's just say we want to try something else. We can click on something else. So let's take a look at this entry. We can click on there and you can see again the font family is being pulled up and all that information, the background colors being used, the fill colors and so on. So that's pretty cool. What I also like about this is when you mouse over any of the colors, you have a little eyedropper, which we could immediately copy that color, that hexadecimal value. You can see the hash and six threes. We can copy that and then we could create our own color palette. So if you found a site that you just like the look of the fonts that are being used, the color combinations, you could use this to quickly and easily grab that information directly from the page, copy that to wherever you want and use that as the basis of your own designs. So it's great as an inspirational based tool. The second option we have, if we come down, come back out of this, is the option for the colors. Now this will sample the entire page and choose all the colors that are being used. So you'll find quite a lot. Click on there, you can see all the colors that are referenced inside this entire page design. Again, which we can grab any of these colors. If anything's using an opacity value, in other words, it's not a solid color, you can see this is set underneath and it tells us what opacity level has been set as well. So the color value, the opacity, and the percentage of that opacity. So that in itself is great if you want to create a color palette to use as the basis of your own designs. Finally, we have the assets option, and this is going to show us all of the images and image files, logos, things like that are being used on the entire site. And like I say, we can mouse over any of these. It'll give us some extra information. It'll give us the file name. It'll give us the size of the file at a pixel value. And if we want to, we can click on export and that will export that. It'll save it to our computer, at which point we could then use that in whatever we want. Now, obviously, you have to bear in mind that copyright has to come into play here. So be very, very careful if you are looking at the assets. But if all you want to do is use these as a source of inspiration to see how they're being used, the kind of graphics that are being used, it can be incredibly useful. 
So that basically is CSS Peeper, a super simple little extension you can add into a Chrome-based browser, but it packs a lot of punch and, like I say, is absolutely free to use. So I would recommend checking this out if you were into design and you just want some inspiration or a quick and easy way of grabbing font information, sizing information, color information, or assets that are being used on a particular site. So that, in a nutshell, is CSS Peeper a free Chrome extension that allows you to grab colors, fonts, CSS, images, and other assets directly inside your browser. Best of all, completely free. As always, all of the applicable links are in the description below, so if you want to check it out, you can grab it from there and take a look for yourself. As always, my name is Paul C. This is WP Tetson. Until next time, take care.